Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Wild Card Wednesday. Today we're going to review another of the Disney Collection Radiance Collection. And this time we've got the Jasmine doll. Now she retailed for $75 on Mattel Creations exclusively. And I picked her up when they were doing a buy one, get one free. And so I actually got her um, when I ordered a big order. So uh, her price was pretty pretty negligible for me at that point. Because uh, I think at the end, everything averaged out to about $30 a doll. So I've got this here, again, the Mattel Creations right here on the back. And it says, although she sparkles like a diamond inside and out, this princess is not a prize to be won. From Disney's Aladdin, the special Radiance Collector doll captures Jasmine in diamond-like splendor. Her satin gown is draped with charmeuse and shiny organza and sparkles with gemstones and gold details, much like the bejeweled night sky of Agrabah. In stunning detail, Jasmine will be the gem of your doll collection. Now, we reviewed Belle already, but let's take a look at Jasmine. She has got kind of a tight box, so but these boxes are actually really good quality, so I can't really complain about it too much. So here she is, looking very nice. Again, we love the way that her face up is done. It's the same mold as the Playline dolls, but the face up is done really differently. She has got great accessories. Her earrings and necklace really go together really well. The jewel that's here on her skirt and the jewels that are down here on the lower part of her skirt do not seem as out as, as out of place on the outfit as Belle's did, so I can't really complain about that. Her hairstyle is much more accurate to Jasmine than we usually get in dolls, so I love that. And I'm loving the gold foiling on this outer skirt. Like, it's very cute. It could have been embroidery, especially on a $75 doll, um, like, the weird thing is I'm just not seeing the material cost in this collection so far, because we've got articulated arms and wrist, but we don't have articulated legs, um, we have detail that's here, but again, at $75, you've got to wonder how much of it is really actually going towards the doll compared to how much is actually going towards the branding. But she's very cute. She does have a UPC down here on the bottom, again, She's only sold through Mattel Creations. So that's the only place you're gonna be able to get her. Last time I checked, she is still in stock. So these dolls are not immune from the sales that Mattel Creations occasionally runs. So the next time they announce a sale, check it out. You might be able to, be able to get her for a pretty good discount. So I'll be right back with her out of the box and we're gonna take a closer look. All right, we are back with Jasmine out of the box. She is very cute. She's not super complicated to remove. She does have a stand that is pretty much the same as Belle's. And let's give a quick 360 of this doll. You guys can just see some details there on the bustling on the back of the dress. You really see that jasmine ponytail. Again, very cute detailing on the skirt. 
we actually do get the gems all the way around. So this is done much better than Bell, I think. Just the overall execution of the design concept looks better. I'm not mad about this gem here or the one up here because this is based on her purple outfit um, from the middle of the movie. It's really cute. I love when they pull from her non-standard outfits to make Jasmine dolls um, because this really feels like an elevated version of a look that doesn't get done very often. Like in the last probably five, ten years, I think Disney Store has released this outfit in any form like twice maybe and once was one of the uh, ballet dolls maybe three times considering the most recent um, release that they did with the uh, activity dolls but it's really well done there is like a gold foiling on the gauze that's over here on the top part you guys can see that. See, just a little bit of gold foil speckling. Very cute. We're gonna take a look at her shoes now. So here are the shoes. A little malformed, but nothing a little hot water bath wouldn't fix. If you ever have shoes that are like this or hands that get squished, um, just a little dunk in some like boiling water, like a real quick in and out most of the time takes care of that. And then they bounce back to their literal molded shape. You can do them inside of a plastic bag if you're worried about the paint being in direct contact with the water on some, on some, um, some painted things like shoes and accessories that are malformed. Not as, as effective inside the paper bag as ducking it directly in the hot water, but again, it works. So she is very, very cute compared to a lot of them. Let me show you how she compares to the uh, to the others that we have right now. So here is a vintage Mattel purple dress for inspiration. See that triangular is still there on this one. And you can see the shape of the dress is maintained like it is maintained there's detail added this is the kind of elevation of a look i love to see so far overall i like jasmine more than i like bell which is weird because i don't usually love a jasmine but as you can see they are the same mold this is a new mattel doll you can see the gem on her headband is still there this is one that I just redressed in a vintage look that I have. So, again, see the difference in their hair quantity? Like, just, just the difference in the hair length. Like, she gets an extra probably two inches of hair, which is great and just the actual elevation of the face up. Because both of these are the same mold. So it really does show you that you can make these molds so beautiful. So if you are not wanting to spend $75, you can take the Playline faces and make them just gorgeous like it's been done here. Um, 
So, let's take a look at her accessories a little bit closer up. So, we've got actual gems right there on her earrings. And again, on the necklace, at least there in the center. I can't tell if these side gems are little gems or not, or if they're just painted. Um, but it's really pretty. Again, the makeup look on these is gorgeous. So she is really well done. My only thing that I want from these that they didn't include, and I don't know why they didn't, is giving us articulated knees. It would have been a very easy add, especially at a $75 doll, because like the $50 Tinkerbell doll has articulated arms and legs. And she comes with a stand that puts her in flight, and she was $25 cheaper than these dolls. Granted, Tinkerbell has a more, like, basic kind of outfit, but she still looks pretty good. So, Jasmine, I think, is a step up from Belle, because I feel no need to take anything off of this outfit, compared to the, uh, compared to the Radiance Collection Belle, where I did remove the big gems from her dress, because it just didn't feel authentic to the look. I left the little pink and yellow gems that are on there. I just took off the big red ones. And I think it brings this look up a little bit more. But with Jasmine, I don't think we need to do anything to her outfit to really make it luxe. And it looks good. There's nothing that I look at and immediately go, ugh, I gotta get rid of that. So... I think overall it's really well done. I love the design of this doll. I'm glad they didn't try to do something with her blue dress. Well, it's not even dress, her blue outfit. Um, I would love to see Mattel's take on the red Jafar's got her enslaved look. Or really her wedding look. I would love for Mattel to do a Disney wedding collection because that is something that gets severely underdone. Like Shop Disney right now has four wedding dolls that are out. They have Cinderella, they have Rapunzel, they have Ariel, and they have Tiana. And they're all good, but they did those same four like, like five or six years ago, I think. Um, and it's literally the exact same dolls that is re-released. But like Sleeping Beauty, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, like they have wedding looks that have been kind of accepted amongst the, um, the Disney doll community that could be done again. And I think that would be a great thing for Mattel to really push out is things that just haven't been done by Disney in a long time. Like, they did a a wedding collection. Hasbro did one, I think. And it was a lot of Ariel and Rapunzel. And I think I think they did Belle. Then of course there was the debacle of the live-action Belle dolls um, compared to the gloriousness of the live-action um, Cinderella dolls that Mattel had, hansel, had handled. So, I think overall this doll is doing what the Radiance Collection wants it to do. I've really, I'm, I've got my eye on Aurora. I can't force myself to spend $75 on her though, so I'm waiting for the next sale. But Jasmine is really kind of inspiring my like faith in this collection. 
other than the fact that her hair needs a little bit of trimming just to get some of these weird stragglers out of the way, I'm actually going to do right this second while I'm thinking about it. Just like that, because there were some really long hairs hanging off the bottom of that. Um, but I think this is this is a luxe outfit. Like seeing it out and really feeling this outer skirt, seeing the ruffles, I'm I'm getting it. I appreciate the design that goes all the way around the skirt. They didn't cheat us because there was an outer skirt on top of it. I was fully expecting it to just be these like three in the front that we could see in the box, maybe four. But the thing that really sealed it was those gems going all the way around for me. Like, yeah. I would love for these to be metal. That would have been great. That would have been a way to bring up the accessories a little bit, but that's okay. They had room to play here with bracelets. They could have done some cuffs or anything like that, done with these same gems that could have brought it up a little bit more, but she is really pretty and I'm okay with the price that I spent on her. So if you guys have any questions on this doll, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, stick around for some more fun unboxings. Bye y'all, be good.